We have been in the Florida Keys for eight months now, and we're gonna share with you 13 things that you must do when you get to the Florida Keys. We are a family of five that loves adventure, connecting with people, and trying something new. Try something new every day. Six years ago, we got rid of all of our stuff and moved into an RV full-time to give us the freedom to explore the world. So hit that subscribe button and come along on the adventure with us. We only get one life to live, so let's live it up. All right, so the first stop on our list has some of the most beautiful water that we have ever seen in the U.S. and even rivals places around the world. And that is Alligator Reef Lighthouse. Alligator Reef Lighthouse is about a mile and a half offshore and it's crazy because you have to head out through this deep dark blue Atlantic Ocean and then all of a sudden you start to see this. The color looks like laundry detergent in those commercials. This is beyond what I thought it could have looked like. The turquoise is absolutely insane. We haven't been in water like this for over a year and it's absolutely crazy how the kiddos just take to the water like they've never been out of it. We definitely belong in and around the water and can't wait to get on our sailboat. Without skipping a beat, Nixon scaled the rusty, slimy lighthouse and headed for the four inch beam at the top to make her big jump. Now make sure you stick around to the end. We're gonna show you where everybody gathers every night in Key West to watch an epic sunset. All right, time for some history. Alligator Reef Lighthouse was built in 1873 and is named after the USS Alligator, which was a merchant ship assigned to stopping the trade of slaves coming through the Caribbean from the African coast in the 1820s. In 1822, the USS Alligator was escorting a convoy of merchant ships from the Caribbean when it ran aground on the shallow reef. So 50 years after the crash, they built this lighthouse in honor of the USS Alligator and named it the Alligator Reef Lighthouse. Dolphins are amazing, and that's why we chose the Dolphin Research Center as our second stop. Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely loving this place. I want to volunteer too. here. Can our whole family volunteer here? Yeah. All right, so we have been wanting to come to the Dolphin Research Center since we came down to the Florida Keys. And I don't know why we haven't done it yet, but I'm glad either. that we We've did been today. Here months already. <laughs> because it is a truly amazing place to come. They have all kinds of different exhibits where they have, what is it, sea lions, sea lions right, here. right here? They have dolphins. They have like five different dolphin exhibits. Oh. Parrots, a splash pad for the kid. It's I have really, to just say, really amazing. It is heaven for the whole family because there's nothing like seeing. I mean, if you ever see a dolphin in the wild, right, you might see a fan for two seconds. But here, you actually get to experience them, just see their behaviors, how cute they are, hear them speaking. Uh, my, I think my favorite part is when they talk to the you. The little sounds, and then. I mean, they're really such gentle creatures. If you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up because it helps the YouTube algorithm. Oh my God, is my heart is seriously melting right now. Do you that. hear them? Oh all right, so number three is all about going fast on the water. So when you get down to the Keys, you're gonna wanna rent some jet skis. And this is gonna be the most Epic adventure ever. All right, Ryan. Oh, yeah. All right, Ryder, Ryder, Ryder. First time on a jet ski. What do you think? It's a ride! Happy birthday, Ryder! Woo! All right, we are going through another mangrove. Super cool. There's the birthday boy right over there. Here 
there, the beautiful Janelle with the amazing eyelashes, <laughs> was the best guide ever. She really like took time with everybody. I was super squirrely in the beginning. <laughs> She's like, go faster, it works better. And I'm like, go! <laughs> and it was so much better. Yes, jet skis are always fun. You're never gonna be mad or sad <laughs> on a jet ski. And yeah, it's always fun. Come visit Janelle. You know. Very cool. So you know what family I love? It's, it's a family-owned business, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And so I love supporting family-owned businesses. So guys, what's it called? Florida, Florida Keys, Keys Water Sports. Florida Keys Water Sports. What Florida else do you guys have? <laughs> boats. Yeah, we have boats and jet skis. Boats boats and jet yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great time. All right, guys. All right. Sometimes it's nice to slow down after all these crazy water sports. So the fourth thing that we recommend doing is checking out the history of Dive Museum, which houses the largest dive collection of stuff in the world. I have to say, this place is very impressive. When you wear one of these suits, you can go down 2,500 feet underwater. The Diving Museum is a must-see, and it was so cool to learn about all the history throughout the years. So if you are down in the Keys, I would definitely recommend checking out the Dive Museum, because it's really cool. To Exit surface. to the surface. Whoa. You guys ready to go back? All right, now number five is exhilarating on a whole different level and try not to lose a finger at Robbie's. Almost lost a finger on that one. Let off that comfort zone. Let's go to Robbie's hood. Robbie's was voted the number one place in the Florida Keys that every tourist should visit. It's located on mile marker 78 on Isla Morada. The main attraction at Robbie's is to definitely come and feed the tarpon. So make sure you get a bucket of fish for four dollars and beware because the pelicans are super aggressive. Alright, so this is a huge guy right here. So I'm hoping one of them is gonna jump up and open his mouth real wide. Look at that guy. Holy crap. He's, oh babe, he's gonna come. Oh god, I'm nervous. Okay, ready? Watch out guys. Oh my god! I did not know his mouth opened that big. <laughs> do you want to do it again, Mom? Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, babe. Oh my god. Oh god. Ah! Oh god. I feel like I was on a roller coaster ride before it's about to drop. <laughs> you see their mouths like. Oh my god. Oh, that's what. So, beaches are hard to come by down here in the Florida Keys, but we did find a really cool one, and this is going to be our number six, which is Sombrero Beach. The Keys don't have big, wide, sandy beaches because they're mostly coral reefs, which is great for snorkeling, but when you do find a great beach like Sombrero Beach, you should really take a second to enjoy it. What was that face, Nick? We need some sandy area. This looks great, wow, huh? Awesome. Yeah, what do you think? What happened? It is so cool and clear, but I gotta go back to playground. All right. If you're interested in making videos like this one or starting a YouTube channel, we just spent a year and a half creating three online courses to make videos and the links are down in the description. So next up is another beautiful beach. It's number seven and it's Bahia Honda. I am in absolute awe of the epicness of this water right here. It looks absolutely beautiful. Wow. cool about this park is there's actually two beaches there's two sides to the island this is the Atlantic side obviously way windier and choppy the other side is a nice calm swimming area designated swimming area which is where we originally thought we were gonna be doing this paddleboard but it looks like the rider goes mom there's a sign no kayaking or paddleboarding I'm like oh no as we drove in we saw this side and it was kind of choppy and I'm like oh boy so this is where we're doing it we're gonna inflate this baby and see what happens Right, 
definitely have to say Bahia Honda it was a huge success. What a yes. great day we had. We didn't plan on being here for the sunset, but man, we got a We epic definitely sunset. did not plan on being here. <laughs> so that's how much fun you could have here and not even realize it. And then you're like, oh, how many hours have we been let's here? Let's stay for the sunset. Yeah. I think we got here at what? 10? Yeah. Now it's 7. 10 and it's 7.40. We've got the sunburns to prove it, so. Oh my God. I don't even want to see my legs. <laughs> <laughs> OMG, the next one has to be one of the cutest things in the world, and that is our number eight, the Key Deers. Oh. They're so cute. This is the only place in the world you, that you could find Key Deer. Welcome to Big Pine Key. Peace out. There's about 700 Key Deer that live down here. And every year from cars, they say 50 to 70 get ran over. So that really sucks. So you gotta be careful if you're out here not to run over the key deers. Oh, here's another thing. So we just had a rooster and a shopping cart. Hello, little guys. You are little key deer. And look at that little baby one. You guys stay out of the road, okay? Oh, look at that little baby. Oh my God, they're so cute. Hey, you guys, get out of the room. <laughs> oh, my no, they're moving. You guys have to be careful. You gotta be careful. Now we're gonna go to the most popular place in the Florida Keys, which is Key West. And if you are gonna spend the day there, which most people do, you're gonna wanna run a golf cart to really get around because things are spread out and walking gets a little tiring. Let's get a golf cart. Here we go. It's so much cooler of an experience to be in a golf cart than to be uh, in a car. It's very immersive and it feels great. So if you're down here, rent a golf cart. It's way better. Or walking with three kids that don't want to walk after two blocks. So this makes it way easier. All right, mile marker. So once you rent that golf cart, you're gonna to wanna to drive 10 minutes down the road to Duval Street and start the exploring. Happy rooster, happy life. <laughs> All right, so what are we feeling, guys? Do we like this, driving the golf uh, cart? Yeah, what do you think, right? You like yeah. the golf cart? Are you I'm loving a, it? I'm gonna change the steer. Girls, are you loving the golf cart? Yeah. Like that. <laughs> One of the most iconic things to do in Key West is our number 11, hit up the southernmost point. All right, we're coming up on the southernmost point. We've been here a few times already, but you know, every time we're here, we feel like we need to go again. <laughs> just pulled up and the line's much longer than we've ever experienced, so I think we're just gonna drive by. It's a popular day here in Key West. <laughs> oh let's show. Maybe, maybe we should cut in a shot from us last time. Yes, 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 <laughs> let's do that. That works better, because I don't want to stand in that line. All right, All right guys, it's our turn, it's our turn. What do you guys think? Woo! Oh my God, we finally made it to the side. Don't flush the letters. Oh, yeah. Do we got a phone? Oh, yes. <laughs> gotta give somebody a phone here. We, we, all right. Do we have a good? Yeah. All right, all right guys. guys, we did it. We came to the southernmost point. What do you think? Woo! What do you think? All right. That's it, guys. Get out there and what? Try something, something new. new. Where is it? There it is. Got it. Let's go. All right, guys. <laughs> there you go. That's how we roll. Got it. There you go. Get the line right here. Uh -uh, not happening today. Sorry, southernmost point. The next one is a hidden gem that we stumbled across and we were thoroughly blown away. And that is our number 12, which is Fort Zachary Taylor. So Sandy did a little research on this place as we're pulling in and they said they used it during the Civil War, the Spanish War, World War I, World War II, and the Cuban Missile Crisis. They said the walls here are five feet thick. Wonder if this used to be a prison cell. Thank you so you much. You guys are great people, guys. So You're nice always welcome you. here at Fort Zachary Taylor. I really appreciate it. Any questions? All right, so they're getting ready to close down here at Fort Zachary, and Rager Ron asked us if we want to help him lower the flag. The kids get to help him lower the flag. So how cool is that, man? All right, you ready? Get ready to catch it, guys. Don't let it hit the ground. All right, grab the end, grab the end. Protect All it. Right. Let's get this one here. Good job, guys. 35, yep. Here, let me catch That's how many states there was at the time. 
It's like an 1860s flag. All right, so here it is, the one you've been waiting for. No trip to Key West would be complete without our number 13 spot, which is watching the sunset at Mallory Square. Uh, yes. We're gonna go see a sunset. This is kind of what the day's been built around. Oh, oh man, this place is packed. That is sunset in Mallory Square. A lot of people down here having fun, enjoying themselves, checking out the sights. Can't get any more beautiful than this. The energy down here is electric, and the sun is getting ready to set. It's so beautiful. All the performers are so good here that Ryder didn't want to leave the magician, and there was a fire girl going on, and I wanted to see that, but Ryder wouldn't leave. Now we have been all over the country, we have traveled all over the U.S., almost every single state, and by far, hands down, the Florida Keys is paradise. There are so many things to do, we haven't even scratched the surface, we have lots more to come. So if the Keys aren't on your list of places to go and do, you should definitely put it on your list because it's absolutely amazing down here. Our favorite place ever. And a new year is upon us, so let's remember to get out there, get our blood pumping, do some crazy exciting things this year, and try, try something, something new! new. Ah, we got a party to get to. Let's go. Woo!